This reminds me of leaf peeping season. Everybody's driving way too slow. If you're coming up here, you gotta remember. That's not an acceptable speed for these roads. People drive 60 on these roads. Man, there's so many people on the road. You know, I was really hoping to get some good video footage of the deer and stuff, because there's usually a lot of deer around here. But with all these people, I suspect it'll be very difficult. Well, it seems like there's nobody here. There is a bit of a trail going in there. Maybe somebody walked in. We'll find out when we get there. My primary objective is to see the eclipse, but getting a little fishing in isn't a bad idea, so we'll see how it goes. This is a pretty cool thing right here. If it wasn't for all the crazy amount of people here, we probably would have saw some deer coming in. Because I think they feed the deer here in the winter to keep them alive, because we're pretty far north here. I did make a bit of a boo-boo. I took off this morning without my net. But I'm not really expecting to catch much of anything anyways. All right, so I'm heading into the river. See what happens. I actually heard on the radio on the way in, they said that fishing's supposed to be good during the eclipse. Just kind of weird that they said that on the radio. But we'll see. All right, so I'm just getting here and I got the place to myself and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm just going to start throwing a streamer, and we'll go from there. I've only fished here once or twice this early in the season, and I've never had any luck. But I know fishing early in Grand Lake Stream, you can do well on smelts, especially floating smelts, but I don't have any floating smelts. So I kind of I kind of winged it and came up here. Uh, but so I got this, you know, black ghost on there with a midge on the back end, and I figured that's probably a pretty good bet because there's probably midges going on too. The anticipation for this is killing me because I remember when I was a little kid, they were saying, you know, we got like a probably an 80% here. I don't know how old I was. It was probably back in the early 90s. And uh, they said the next one would be in 2017. And then I did watch that one, but it wasn't anything special. I mean, it was probably only about an 80% or over here. But I remember when I was a kid, they said the next full totality in New England was going to be in 2024 and here I am in 2024 I can't believe it when you're a kid you think it'll never come but here it is and I'm sitting here waiting for it and waiting for it I've been like so excited about this over the last year uh I mean I love this kind of stuff I love you know astronomy and stuff like that so I'm just like super excited for this you can't even imagine I was just walking across here to get to the slot on the other side of the river. And I just had my line hanging out down there like that. And I got a whack. <sighs> Might be my only chance today. I just saw a trout rise. And I wonder if when the eclipse starts, 
There's going to be a small little like midge hatch or something. We'll see what happens. I switched up from my last rig and I'm going for a black, you know, check woolly bugger and a wet fly. I don't know if you saw it, but I have one on. Oh, I'm going off label a little bit. I'm using some steel head flies, trying to get some attraction going on. I mean, I did have two hits, but I don't know. I'm going to keep on giving this a go, I guess. Well, I had to put on my uh, older waders because they are a bit bigger, you know, my fat boy waders, and uh, they leak pretty good. So I've been sitting out there <clears throat> fishing this like I'm fishing steelhead for like the last two and a half hours. I had two heads, which was much better than I thought, but uh, I'm basically uh, at a standstill. some soggy feet gonna try to dry out a little bit yeah I'm just kind of out here waiting for this to happen it's supposed to happen at uh, at 328 is the it's supposed to be totality it's a uh, quarter or two so I think it's supposed to be like pretty much like a you know an hour and a half before you start seeing stuff I put my glasses on I haven't seen anything yet. You know, I get these cheap little things. And I'm hoping that they'll do it. Well, I know they'll do it because I've been staring at the sun with them. And it's been going fine. But uh, I haven't seen anything happening yet. So I'm going to try to do a time lapse. And uh, see how that goes with the time lapse. And I'm going to try to take my, my phone and do a little stuff with the phone. All right, so I got everything set up. I set up my GoPro on a tripod. Got a little rat's nest. I have my DSLR right there. And I think I'm going to try to shoot a little bit of video with it in full totality. But what I think my plan is, is I'm going to, when it gets closer to the time, because it's supposed to be at 328, say right around you know 325 i'm gonna turn this on and i'm gonna give you guys my reaction to it i'm pretty excited there's some birds around which is kind of nice so if there's some birds uh it's supposed to go crazy when the eclipse goes off you know i, I just see uh i think that was a buffalo head uh going over but uh supposed to be a bunch of different things that goes on with the birds and i did see one trout rise when i was in there i wonder if some midges are going to come off and we can see if anything happens with that so i started my time lapse at uh at 2 40 and i'm going to let it run probably about a half an hour 45 minutes after the eclipse and then i'm going to boogie so i'm doing a two second interval uh and it's just photograph 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 so i gotta try to stay away from being in front of it and hopefully it comes out pretty good we'll see how it looks it's just a little sliver now and my heart's racing i can't believe my heart is racing from watching just a, an astronomical event 
But uh, whew, I, I just can't believe it. It's 3.20 and it's definitely getting darker and the temperature is definitely going down. I look at it and it's just a giant, well, when I look up at the sun with the glasses on, it's just a little sliver. It's not really working trying to use my glasses for this. I think I did that last time on my other phone, the one in 2017, and I got a few photos of it. But this iPhone has got the three lenses on it, and it's just not a. It's just wobbling around between the different lenses. All right, it's 327, and I got the tiniest little sliver of sun behind my glasses. I wish I could show you. You know what, I'm gonna try one more time to show you. Sorry. I only got one tripod, so I gotta hold this to myself. Yeah. It's almost gone. And from what I understand, as soon as you're in totality, you can uh, take your glasses off and look at it. And I'm gonna try to get a little video clip with the DSLR. Oh, oh, it's, it's almost there. It's almost there, it's kind of flickering. Oh my God. It's almost gone. It's almost gone. I don't know how to describe it. It's like maybe a sixteenth of an inch of light. That's about it. Now it's a thirty second. Oh, I'm starting to hear people go to starting to yell in the background. I get the tiniest little bit tiniest gone oh my god that, that is unbelievable that's absolutely unbelievable I can't believe it I'm like crying. People say this is one of the most amazing things you can ever see, and this is one of them. I'm gonna turn this off and just kind of enjoy it for a bit. The colors are kind of hard to describe. It's kind of like a grayish blue background. Got dead black for the moon and bright white all around it. With kind of like the Cleon sign. <laughs> oh, got some organzas flying by. Well, we're on the other side of it, and uh, I didn't think something like that would be as powerful as it was, but it really was. I'm so glad I saw it. So glad.
Well, I didn't catch anything, but it was a great day. Stay tuned because I'm going to be starting my season in earnest relatively soon, most likely in Grand Lake Stream. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.